Welcome to Automotive Territory. In the past couple of years, the affordable segment has lost quite a few worthy convertibles. The VW Beetle convertible, Audi A3 Caprio, Buick Cascada and Fiat 124 Spider are no more. However, this does not mean that our buying options have gotten less exciting. In this episode, we'll cover an updated list of the cheapest drop tops, featuring the most recent models with their respective prices and other vital information. So, subscribe to the channel and let's share the excitement of open-top driving. Enjoy the ride! Mini Convertible The Mini brand goes after drivers who lead dynamic and expressive lives. So, the model itself has to constantly evolve despite keeping the purest appearance. The 2021 facelift for this compact cabrio welcomes a new hexagonal grille, the central bumper strip is painted in body color, wheel designs are freshly forged, and many elements were styled in piano black. The front LED headlights and Union Jack LED rear lights are now standard equipment across all grades. BMW's 1.5-liter twin-power turbo 3-cylinder is the basic mill, and it slots below the 4-cylinders installed on the Cooper S and JCW models. The electrically operated soft top falls in 18 seconds at the speeds up to 18 miles per hour, and it can be additionally personalized with a woven union check. The interior was amped with ambient lighting, new steering wheel, and air fans, while the tech savviness of the model is enhanced with a larger 8.8-inch infotainment and safety features with active cruise control that has stop-and-go function. Ford Mustang Convertible There are four grades of Mustangs these days – a classic fastback, a convertible, an all-new Mach 1, and surely the mighty Shelby 500 that costs a whopping 73 grand. Luckily, the drop-top version of this pony is still within the reach of mid-income consumers, all thanks to the affordability of the four-cylinder setup. The 2.3-liter EcoBoost with rear-wheel drive has plenty of grunt measured at 310 horses and 350 pound-feet. A 6-speed manual with rev matching is your standard tranny, but a 10-speed select shift automatic that comes with a 3.55 torsion limited slip rear axle is a reasonable 1600 add-on. The standard's 100A equipment package includes LED lighting, launch control, independent rear suspension, 17-inch wheels, sync infotainment, 6-speaker audio and manual climate control. The recommended 101A and safety packages at 18 inches, adaptive cruise control, and SYNC 3 with 9 speakers. Fiat 500C Hybrid The roofless sibling of the Fiat 500 hatchback is the cheapest way to own a convertible in the Western world. Its soft top is made of dual-layer cloth fabric, is power-operated in three positions, and is equipped with an integrated glass window. To keep the aging model afloat, Fiat offers a variety of styling options and allows the potential buyers to customize literally everything, from seat designs and dashboard colors to key coffers and custom decals. For 2021, the manufacturer also ditches the old 1.2-liter four-cylinder unit and fits the Mini Caprio with a 1.0-liter three-cylinder mild hybrid. The 12-volt belt starter generator improves acceleration, fuel economy, and adds a pinch of power, bringing the system output to 70 ponies and 68 pound-feet. For adequate comfort, the entry-level 500C can be optioned with several packages. They bring 7-inch Uconnect infotainment with smartphone integration, air conditioning, and a leather steering wheel. Mazda MX-5 Miata With 30 years of iconic heritage and bestseller status under its belt, the current generation Miata gets you perfect 50-50 weight distribution and a true sports car experience with a classic 6-speed manual transmission. The model is offered in soft top and retractable hard top versions. The former is the cheaper of the two, since it is the only one that is sold in the base sport trim. It comes powered by a 2-liter Skyactiv-G 4-cylinder engine with VVT that produces 181 horsepower, 151 pound-feet, and 0 to 60 times of 5.7 seconds. The entry-level Mazda Miata rides on metallic black 16-inch aluminum alloys, lights its way with LED headlights, and offers a 7-inch Mazda Connect 
with Bluetooth, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. There is also the brand's iActive Sense Safety Tag system that includes automatic emergency braking. Volkswagen T-Roc Convertible Though much less practical than a regular subcompact T-Roc, the Cabrio version is ready to impress with a true power soft top that opens in 9 seconds and operates at 20 mph. To achieve the genuine open-air experience, the crossover gets rid of the rear pillars and adopts a two-door design. The base model comes powered by a 1-liter turbo three-cylinder that peaks at 115 horses and is available exclusively with a 6-speed manual gearbox. The Steerock takes a whole 11.8 seconds to speed to 62 and it can reach 116 miles per hour. As standard, its suspension is retuned to offer a sportier feel and better handling, especially at corners. The Volkswagen T-Roc convertible also offers LED DRL and tail lights, leather steering wheel, a multifunction display and lane assist. What is left of the boot, just tank cubic feet, will still fit your weekend getaway bags. Smash the like button if you value our efforts to inform the world about the most affordable car buying options. Thanks in advance and let's proceed! Smart EQ42 Cabrio If you're a fan of tiny cars and live in a big, crowded city with strict emission standards, then the two-door Smart EQ Cabrio might be just the perfect choice. Refreshed just last year, the 4.2 boasts revised head and tail lights and a revamped nose with a honeycomb radiator grille, which clearly indicates that the Smart has an electric heart. The model features a single electric motor with 82 HP and 118 pound-feet that derives power from a 17.6 kWh lithium-ion battery good for up to 98 miles of range. The electrically operated top has two positions. It either opens to the length of the roof or folds all the way down. The entry-level EQ42 gets standard 15-inch alloy wheels, a 4.6 kW charger and a 7-inch multi-touch infotainment with Bluetooth, Android Auto and mirror link. Ford Bronco The Bronco nameplate returns after a 25-year-long hiatus with a legit body-on-frame construction standard 4x4 drive and adventure-ready 2 or 4-door styles. The model reimagines many elements of the first-generation SUV, since its design team actually 3D scanned the 1976 model and used it as a reference point. Without a doubt, the new Bronco can be easily transformed into an open top. The two-door gets a two-piece hardtop roof, while the four-door comes equipped with a black cloth soft top that is electronically operated and fully removable. At extra cost, you can switch between the two options. As standard, the Bronco is powered by a 2.3-liter EcoBoost that can produce up to 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet on premium fuel. The base Bronco also gets you an 8-inch infotainment, wireless smartphone compatibility, push-button start and 6-speaker audio. Honda S660 the limited availability of the Japanese S660 keycar is about to become even more limited, since the model will be finishing up production in March 2022. For now, you can get the mid-engine Roadster in two trim levels, plus a limited edition labeled Machelo X version C. The cars are priced between 18 and 28,000 bucks and are motivated by the same 660cc turbocharged three-cylinder engine. It makes 64 horsepower and 77 pound-feet of torque, which is the maximum allowed by key car regulations. The mill is made to a 6-speed manual transmission, while a CVT with pedal shifters remains an option. On the inside, the car offers heated seats, Alcantara-wrapped steering wheel and a freestanding infotainment display with Honda's GPS navigation. As for the special edition S660, it gets you stealth black wheels, a red roof, and an exclusive Bordeaux and black interior with great stitching. Chevrolet Camaro Convertible Rumors suggest that in 2024, Camaro will be discontinued and replaced with an electric performance car. So we might be witnessing the final years of the legendary pony. This convertible still possesses some of the best dollar-to-horsepower ratio in the business, 
since out of the seven available trims, even the base 1LT model will deliver 275 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque, which is a courtesy of Chevy's 2.0-liter turbocharged engine. This inline-4 is mated to a 6-speed manual transmission, while an 8-speed automatic costs additional 1500 bucks. As standard, the Camaro rides on 18-inch silver-painted alloy wheels, while the cabin is equipped with a leather-wrapped flat-bottom steering wheel, power-operated front seats, and a 7-inch Sync 3 infotainment that in 2021 supports wireless Android and Apple connectivity. The entry-level upholstery is cloth. The audio surround is generated by Bose six-speaker system, while the environment is controlled via a single-zone climate. Jeep Wrangler Sport With its iconic retro exterior, removable doors and roof, impressive ground clearance and limitless trims, the Jeep Wrangler remains the number one choice for those who prioritize off-road travel over city commuting. The model relies on a rugged body-on-frame chassis with Dana front and rear solid axles and three skid plates, which means that this boxy SUV can cover rocks and dirt right from the assembly line. At the starting point of the Wrangler's hierarchy sits the two-door sport with standard four-wheel drive, fabric soft top, 17-inch black painted wheels, and two tow hooks. The entry-level engine is a 3.6-liter V6, good for 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of twist. For extra $1,000, you can upgrade to the 2-liter turbo with 285 HP. On the inside, the model offers a 5-inch Uconnect infotainment, 8 speakers, and either black or tan cloth upholstery, while the options add air conditioning and leather seats. Vanderhall Venice Blackjack For those drivers who are not planning to drive in the rain, we would additionally like to suggest a fun, entirely roofless roadster by the Californian Vanderhall. This two-seater has three wheels and in some jurisdictions may be even classified as a motorcycle. As the name suggests, the Blackjack wears a gloss obsidian black body color, rides on satin black 20-spoke 18-inch wheels, and exhales through a matte black 2-inch exhaust. Unlike the rest of the Venice range that has recently migrated to the General Motors-sourced 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, the most affordable version keeps the 1.4-liter mill with 175 horsepower and a 6-speed automatic gearbox. With the Formula 1-inspired pushrod suspension, this bucket rocket can do wonders in the twisties. Plus, it invites for a ride with a cozy quilted VTAX black upholstery and a VTAX steering wheel. We wish all of our viewers prosperity that would allow the transition from window shopping to actual buying of these beautiful convertibles. Make sure to mention your top options in the comments below and let us know how you feel about the roofless SUVs from this video. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the notification bell, and definitely watch one more episode. May the torque be with you!